about designing shoes is you can see the impact that, that it has on kids. So for me, when I was growing up, I didn't have an opportunity to have really good shoes to skate. That's why we all wore Jordan's Dunks, like anything that wasn't a skate shoe, because back then skateboard shoes were terrible. There's so many different lasts. The last is what makes the shape of the shoe, right? There's so many, Nike has so many, they always could just use one, but they never made one specifically for skating. You got a cool team of skateboarders, you might as well use them, right? And so they, they did, they scanned everyone's feet in order to make something that is, is uh, specific to skateboarding. It's funny, but skate shoes just don't always fit good. And you think that's like, that's the most fundamental thing. And it's funny how hard, how, how difficult that is to, to, to make happen. But the problem is, is also everyone's feet are different. It was, this was going to be my signature shoe, you know. I, it, I put a lot of pressure on myself to make sure and, uh, it, it turned out the best it possibly could, especially it being Nike. It's like a, you know, I was like, mate, I, I just was stressing on the fact that I got to make sure this thing is, is right. No, normal, normal shoe would have this unit. But say in a racing shoe, they uh, uh, running shoe, they have a suck liner too. So all we did was we combined it, we combined the midsole and this unit into one. The the carrier system does is it gives you kind of like st stability for the foam and for your foot. So I think that when we work on technologies, it's more simplifying. Like it's a, thinking about it from just the bare bare bones. Like what are we trying to solve? Mm-hmm.